What's up guys? Welcome to Ghost Giant. I'm a ghost and I'm a giant. Anyway, <laughs> this is a game made by Zoink Games, or I think they might just be Zoink, I don't know, and published by Thunderful Games. Uh, it is a, apparently, a heartwarming puzzle, you know, VR experience kind of a deal. And uh, they were gracious enough to give me a code for it, and here I am to play it for all of you. Uh, hopefully, you guys will like it. From what I've seen, it looks pretty cool. You know, I mean, that's why I, you know, applied to get a, a little code and all that stuff. And I like the wrist movement on the, uh, the giant hands. Anyway, I just started it up. This is the first thing that you see when you load it up. Anyway, let's get into this. Um, this will be a first impressions kind of a video, and if you guys want to see more, I'll continue with the series. Uh, but I wanted to just kind of get this out here so you guys can know what you're getting into and all that stuff. Well, Alright, let's go ahead and uh, do this. They want me to press and hold the start button on my controller to recenter my position. Let's do that. Ta-da! I am recentered. Cool beans. Okay, uh, gotta press the thing. Oh, look! It's my finger. That's pressing the center button. Okay, just uh, your height by pulling the lever so that your eyes are level with yours. Okay, uh. Let's go a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Well, kinda perfect, anyway. Um, oh my god, it feels like something's like in the middle of my headset here. Alright, uh. Press the button when you are done. Which button? Oh, that button, right. Let's uh, line up here. There we go. Okay, you can change your direction by pressing the cross and circle buttons. Look down at your feet to see the current direction. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello, little light bulb. Boop. Okay. Then we'll uh, look at that one. Neat. So far, the tracking's pretty good. Feels uh, pretty good as far as all that's concerned. All right. Oh, so it looks like there's a grabbing and poking. <laughs> okay. Boop. Boop that button right there. Pause the game. How oh, handy. Paused. Yeah. Press that. Press and hold the triangle button at any time to return to the main menu. You can access this tutorial from there. So I guess we're done. And away we go. Oh, nope, nope. I gotta hold it down longer. <laughs> okay. Oh, how nice. This looks very cool. You can tell that they really made it for VR. Different scenes and stuff like that. Subtitles on, of course. And there's height adjustment, master volume, sound effects, dialogue. I guess we'll keep all that uh, kind of there. Ooh. Bye. Okay. Oh, I can't grab that. There we go. <laughs> Snip. Okay, guess not. Oh, look at the little chair. Oh, shit. Sorry. Donde esta la biblioteca? Look at the little chair. This is the kind of stuff I like about VR. Just, just you can do stupid little things like this. Put a little chair in there. There you go. All right. Uh, what is this? Uh... Tape? Sounds like tape. Alright. Let's do this. Uh, box. Wood. Okay. <laughs> let's do this. Scene one. By the lake. I'm assuming this is our introduction to uh, the main character and ourselves. Can't see my hands, but I'm gesticulating as I'm doing stuff. Don't know how long this first episode's gonna be. We'll see, I suppose. Oh. Oh, little sad boy. What's wrong, buddy? Oh. I'm being born from his tears. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost giant. You okay, little buddy? Oh. What's wrong, buddy? Over there. 
Hey. You okay? Huh? It's a ghost. A giant ghost giant. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Um you... Hi. Yeah, please don't panic. Hey, hey, no, no. no! It's, it's, it's okay. No, 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 I'm good. I'm a nice giant. Oh, I wouldn't dare. Hey. Hey. Oh. Where'd you go? Hey, where'd you go? It's not real. You're fishing, and then you fall asleep, and this is just a dream movie. Put that there. Very, very <laughs> realistic dream. Like that time you thought you were playing with a giant marshmallow, but then you started chewing on it and woke up with down in your mouth. It's just like that. And you're going to wake up soon, and everything's going to be okay. Just calm down, Louie. It's not real. Hey. Um. It's super real! <laughs> That doesn't look very stable there, buddy. I won't find you here. Uh. Come on. What is this made of? Hey. Ah! Hey. This is kind of alarming. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Ah! Please help! Please hurry! Help! Why is this happening to me? I got you. Hey, hey. Got you. Hey, little buddy. I know what's gonna happen. Oh, Jesus. Help. You're okay. You're good. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna crush you. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're fine. Yeah, you're good. You're fine, Louis. And the treehouse, too. Yeah, it's good. Uh, kinda. No, 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 no. Uh. That just happened. Well, glad to see you're taking it in stride. Oh, the flag Maurice made. It's so worn out. I wonder what Maurice is doing now. Maybe you'd have some more pressing concerns as far as me, but okay. You okay? Oh, you're still here, and you're still huge. <laughs> I gotta go home, and so thanks. Uh, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Little flag. Well, I guess we'll put that up there for now. Maybe Maurice would like that. Uh, I assume I'm supposed to go this way, maybe? So it tells you your total area of where you can look and whatnot. Whoosh. Okay. <laughs> Do we, do we, oh, maybe, poke, yay, you poke it, you don't grab it. I love when video games have loading screens where you can do cool stuff. This is cool. Oh, scene two, on the farm. Well, hello. What are you doing? I'm here, by the way. That's right. It won't. Be a hard worker. Hey. You need, need some help with that? More like stuck in the ground, flowers. It's back! I never left. Hey. Why are you being so scared? <laughs> it 
You like me to do that, don't you? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, you've got really big hands. You know what they say about a guy with big hands? Big loves. Thank you. <laughs> but why are you helping me? Mm -hmm. You're small and insignificant. I'm sorry, I panicked. I just. I've never seen anyone like you before. Who are you? I'm Ghost Giant. Oh dear. Someone's coming. Hurry up and hide! Uh, Come on! Quick! Hide! Somewhere! Uh, 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 no, 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 not there! Find a tree or something! Oh, shit. Uh, Forget it! <laughs> Madame Lefebvre! Don't be scared! It isn't dangerous! What are you talking about? You... You can't see it? See what? <gasps> oh, my! By my lustrous name, what on earth is that? Oh, no! I'm pretty sure it doesn't want to eat us. I am joking, Louie. What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. I... Uh... A giant one. <laughs> Here you are. Some nice and tender <coughs> asparagus. Thank Ooh, you. dibs. Mom will be so pleased. Where is she, by the way? Mom? Uh, mm, by the lake. Fishing. Yeah. Tell her we need to talk about that bill later. The bill. Of course. Don't forget... See you later, Louie. Bye, Madame Lefebvre. Bye bye. Huh. She didn't really see you. No, she did not. Oh, uh. Mm. I know that thing about my mom wasn't entirely true, but. Yeah, you lied. Mm, anyhow. M my name is Louie. Uh, what's your name? Do you have a name? It's your boy. It's this is Anzabar Man. Okay, talk. okay, fine. That, I actually was sorry. a late talker. My mom told me so. I was completely quiet, and then one day, out of the blue, I said, "Potato." <laughs> That's kind of weird, huh? I like potatoes. C could you? Could you come closer, please? Uh, yes. May I? May I touch you? Whoa. You really are a ghost. A giant ghost. Can I call you Ghost Giant? Not a very original one, are you? But yeah, so, sure. What happens if you touch me? <laughs> that tickles. Apparently, I tickle your soul. <laughs> oh, dear. I should plant the seeds before it starts to rain. The key. Where is the key? Sure, I had it in my pocket. That is a big oh, no. lock. Maybe I lost it by the lake, or in the forest, or in the house. Ugh, I always lose that thing. It feels so stupid. I'll go inside and look for it. Okay. Uh, perhaps you you can look for it here. Mm. Ah, the great foray, Cinder. Great again. Be on the lookout for brass objects. They are important, can often be grabbed or poked. Hey, 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 you. Huh. Where was I? Ah. Give me the thing. Maybe I have to let him finish talking. <clears throat> right. Where to hide it? That's a pretty good hiding place, actually. The only problem is how to get it out. Hmm. Hello, shiny thing. I can see you. I love you, you know. Mwah. You're uh, talking to a key, my dude. <laughs> That's a huge key! I found it! My apologies, but I believe I found it first. Whoa! No, I'm pretty certain. Hey, leave, well, leave me alone. Ab yeah. oh. Fine, keep it. There are more shiny things in the sea. Uh, thanks. Huh. Now we will sow the seeds, and the rain will fall, and the seeds will sprout, and grow, and grow, and... Ew. 
Yeah. <laughs> Just kill it with a pot. I like the little pots. I like all the little tiny objects. Oh, no. Oh. I guess the rats got hungry this winter. Oh no. Don't panic, Luis. There must be a solution. Of course. How obvious. You must go to town and buy more sunflower seeds. I know you don't want to, and you have absolutely zero money, but it'll be fine. Because you're not alone anymore, Luis. You have a giant ghost following you around and helping you, and you have no idea why. <laughs> and playing but with pots. It's a good thing, and everything will be okay. Yeah. I'm going to tell you a secret. I've been teaching myself to drive. <gasps> for emergency purposes only. And this is definitely an emergency. That's so risque. But what if someone sees me? <laughs> I'll take the forest road. There's less traffic there. And I'll bring a disguise. You can poke Lewis to get a hint about your current task. Poke. I need something to make me look old enough to drive a car. Not too old to drive one either. If only I had a beard. Or a mustache. <gasps> Why not both? Come on, beard, grow faster. I like his idea, forcing it to grow. You know, this is a crutch. You don't need this. <laughs> All right, just kidding. Where is it? All right, fine, here. Oh. Hello, I'm a grown up man driving my car like I've been doing for the past 30 years of being a grown up. That's exactly what grown ups sound like. Trick. <laughs> Perfect. Come on, car. I really wanted to pick Please. it up and like go. <laughs> Did you get in? I'll fly you there. You stupid car. <laughs> Mom used to push the car down the hill when it wouldn't start. That's a steep hill. Can we talk about how steep this hill is? Whoa. Uh, where do you want it? Where do you want it, bro? There. Uh, could you help me with the car, please? Ha! <laughs> Ooh. All right. Where do you want it? Can you? Uh, no, that's silly. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Lift the car. Make it float. Ah, uh, careful. Where do you want it? Oh, the hill is on your left. It looks hilly and roady. That's where the car needs to be on the roady part. Hey, um, be careful. We paid a lot of money for that. Ah, keeps disappearing. All right. What about there? No? Ah. Ah, careful. Oh. <laughs> There's a little oh, thing. Oh no! Uh, great. Uh, wait, for, wait for me. Well, there goes the tire. Okay, bye, tire. Mirrors adjusted. Seat belt on. Hands on the wheel. Missing tire. Deep breath. <gasps> this hill is really steep. It is very steep. Come on, car. That's a that's a no go, bro. You need a substitute for a wheel. Uh, what's the matter with it this time? Uh, bro, you're uh missing a wheel there. Music so far. Rave hands. Scene three: The Forest Road. A 
probably end this first impressions at the end of this scene. Oh, look. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's, that's exactly what adults say when they're driving. Look at me, I'm driving! There's gotta be a... Aha! Uh -huh. I was gonna say, there's gotta be a hoop around here. Whoop! Hang on, I'll get to that in a minute. I gotta... Sorry. <laughs> ah, shit. Uh, hey, look at you, little guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently, that was the thing to find. It says, never Ha. Ha ha. That's. That's good. <laughs> Mindful of targets the far distance, try throwing things at them. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, Hoo! Yes! Beard's a little itchy. Don't get distracted by a little itchy beard. Oh, okay. There's a lot of little interactables. Oh, <laughs> okay. You really blew them away. Apparently, I gusted <laughs> them. Oh my goodness! The There's something about a windmill or a little pinwheel that I can blow on, maybe. Oh, hey, look at you! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh ho ho ho! You doing all right there, buddy? <laughs> all right, see you later. Oh, there it is. <sighs> hey, freaking windmill, pinwheel. Oh, I killed it. Okay. <laughs> is that guy gonna go all the way over here? You running into town? You are very determined. <laughs> Is it messed up that that's my first my first thought? Throw stuff at him. You're so determined. Huh. Got him. Oh, I can't. I can't ruin his little trip. You are just so determined. I, I gotta watch this through to the end. <laughs> it's like how I sound after I run for any amount of distance. There he goes. Okay, bye. Alright, well, anyway, as far as a uh, first impressions of the game is concerned, I think that was a pretty good idea of what to expect overall. Just a quirky little story about, you know, me, a giant, or you, a giant, if you decide to pick this game up and you have a PSVR. Um, it's only for PSVR, by the way, I don't think I mentioned that earlier. Um, but, as you can tell, it's got a very interesting uh, art style to it. One that I don't think will get, you know, boring as far as things are concerned. Um, but yeah, quirky little quirky little game. 
And uh, if you have a PSVR, I'd, you know, I'd recommend picking it up. I believe the price point is, it's, okay, it's either $25.99 or $29.99 USD. <clears throat> uh, I haven't been able to find an actual, you know, conclusive price for it and all that. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool so far. Um, I think it's, it's pretty neat so far. I like it. The concept is very nice, um, and I like, I like little puzzle games. Um, I've been waiting for something to play for, you know, more PSVR, because I like PSVR. I just don't have a whole lot of games for it that I, you know, want to play. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, thank you again to Zoink Games and Thunderful Publishing for coming out with the game and also uh, for giving me a code so I could, you know, show you guys about the game. Um, it comes out on the 16th. I believe I mentioned that earlier, but it comes out on April 16th. And, uh, yeah, if you guys liked what you saw, feel free to pick it up yourself, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next episode. Uh, bye bye